In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to take an object and convert it to water. We're going to start with a standard picture of an apple. We're going to take the leaf and the stem of the apple and we're going to actually cut that out and paste it into a new layer so that when we're finished we can put it back on top of the water apple and have it look like it's part of the apple itself. Now we're going to go ahead and open up some stock water images. We're going to take parts of these images and cut and paste them onto our apple. There's plenty of places online to get water stock images from. Some of them you have to pay to access, other ones are just free. Now the key here is to find an image of water that has a ripple effect in it and the edge matches the edge of your apple. Copy and paste the water image onto your apple. You will have to resize it and sometimes actually change the shape, skew it if you need to, to have it match the edge of the apple itself. Now, erase any white edges you have on the water image. Um, it's good to actually blend them. Don't do a hard edge, but actually erase it with a soft edge so it has a kind of a blur feel to it. Now you're going to keep on copying and pasting images of water until you have the entire apple covered, the surface of the apple covered. Um, it helps sometimes to actually change the pacity of the water image you're working with so you can actually line it up just right with uh, the apple in the background. The liquify tool can be a really good help here too. If you have part of a water image that just doesn't bend the right way, you can use liquify and it gives a nice smooth feel to it. Now it helps if your water images are overlapping. It doesn't really make a big difference if they're exactly the same because you can actually blend them. What you're going to do is you're just going to use your erase tool and erase a little bit off of each layer um, where they come together. And so it makes kind of a nice smooth blend. And if you need to, you can always use your smudge tool or actually paint in uh, little lines that will help it uh, match or mix together well.
Now, as far as the center goes, I went ahead and took one large image, and it was of bubbles, and I used that in the center, and then from there I just smudged it and did the clone tool and just filled in the rest of the area. Now once you finish making the inside of the apple, smudging and, and using your clone tool, then you go ahead and hide the layer with the red and leave the, the layer with the stem and the leaf. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to convert an object into water.